Merry Christmas. It's December, guys, and my family loves doing crafts. We, we'll do crafts anytime, really, but it's just fun to do the Christmas-themed crafts for the holidays, for sure. So we're glad you're here. We're going to talk about the Christmas crafts we have done this month, and we hope it gives you ideas for your holidays. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. Welcome back. I'm Ashley here at Joyful Noise Learning, and I'm so glad you're here. This is in collaboration with my friend Val at Art Castle Homeschool. I'm so glad she invited me to do this and share our Christmas craft ideas that we're going to do with our kids. She's got a fun family, and I love hearing about her family and how they homeschool and the resources she gives for her kiddos. Interestingly, her kiddos are very similar to mine. I think they're also really into art as, and reading as well. Be sure to check out the playlist below with, with all the other Christmas craft ideas. <laughs> check out the playlist below. It's below there. You know that. This year, because my daughter's 10 now, and I thought maybe she can help decide what we're doing for our crafts. And she's normally the one who likes to do them anyway. So I thought it'd be a special thing for her and I to do together. So we sat down, we browsed through Pinterest. <laughs> I basically just typed in Christmas crafts for kids and we browsed through Pinterest and found some great ideas. So these are some of the things that she picked and I think you're gonna like them. first craft was the birdseed ornaments and we've done this in the past but this year this recipe called for gelatin instead of other things that we've used before so it made for some really pretty cutouts of some Christmas themed uh, decorations with using the gelatin. As always it's a little bit messy but it was still a lot of fun. had the cookie cutters on hand. I also had the gelatin and the bird seed on hand. So this craft was free for us. Next we did the paper Christmas trees and these were super super simple basically three circles out of paper and then you fold them and then you put them together with the string and then you're done. <laughs> so all we did was buy some really pretty Christmas type paper and that they were each less than a dollar at the store. was a really really cute adorable clothespin snowflake. All we needed for this was clothespins, a glue gun, and some paint, and maybe a few stickers and decorations if you have them. Um, so we already had the glue gun, all we needed to buy was the clothespins, we already had the paint, so this was pretty affordable for us as well and super quick. My daughter actually did it pretty quickly. Um, she had fun painting it and getting it all decorated and I wanted to do this craft because it can fit for Christmas, but it can also uh, be a decoration for winter as well. And lastly, I got the supplies for this. Uh, all I had to do was go outside and look for rocks and we're ready to go to do the story stones for the Christmas nativity story. 
and we haven't done this craft yet but I wanted to mention it because it's super simple super affordable as well and we do plan to do this later on this week so there you have it. Your crafts don't have to be fancy. They don't have to take a lot of time or be super messy. Uh, it can just be a good time to get together with the kids and give the kids just a creative outlet to make and to create and to celebrate this Christmas time. So we also enjoy making these to be able to make them as gifts for family members. It can be double whammy. You can be making Christmas gifts and you can just be having crafts. So um, it goes together, right? <laughs> be sure to check out everything in the description below. And if you want more Christmas content from my channel, you can see that in the playlist here. And be sure and subscribe so you don't miss out on me sharing my goals for 2021. Um, that sounds crazy, 2021, right? <laughs> Um, I'll be sharing my goals for our homeschool for 2021. And as always, you rock at homeschooling. Go find your joy in the noise, and I'll see you next time.